<laughs> to paraphrase Muhammad Ali, in this case, the boxer, not the beekeeper, trainees learn to float like a butterfly and think like a bee. Two teams of trainees assume the roles of swarm bees, with one queen, a number of hive bees, and a smaller number of scout bees. While the hive bees danced about and serenaded their queens, scout bees attempted to find an appropriate hive amongst the rooms of the training center dormitories. Scout bees who entered hives occupied by trainees posing as ants, lizards, or other natural enemies were detained. If a scout bee did not return to the swarm, another scout bee was sent out. Eventually, a scout from one of the swarms discovered an appropriately empty hive and led the team to its new home. This helped to drive home the concepts intrinsic in swarm nest site researches and underline the importance of maintaining bait hives free of occupants other than bees. The activity also took advantage of the participants' cultural traditions of communal singing and dancing as instructional tools, not to mention inserting a period of physical activity and fun in the post-lunch period in which the national tendency is to map. A discussion period to generate a list of the natural enemies and environmental challenges bees confront was followed by a flip chart review of apiary selection high points to facilitate working with and around bees.